Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 21, and this is war number 9. And as you can see, we're going up against an alliance called Utopia. Now, at the beginning of the season, my alliance started off strong. Uh, I believe we won our first six wars, and that put us in a much higher tier. Now, we're still AQ-focused, but we want to get into Platinum for the season. And I believe we're in really good shape. So what we need to do is always get the bosses down. Now, we've been losing. Uh, I think we lost the last couple of wars. And we still got all the bosses down. So we're still in good shape for finishing the season in Platinum. Now, I scouted the path out. And I saw Blade here. And I'm like, okay, well, Blade is a pretty easy defender. Uh, I shouldn't have any problem. Now, these guys are tough. Uh, that we're facing here and I'm thinking all right I'm gonna take this uh, blade out without too much difficulty uh, so I'm boosting up there's no reason not to put at least the uh, attack boost we get so many of them the only time you'll see me go into a fight in Alliance War without boosting is because I forgot all right so Here's the first surprise about Blade, and you might have seen it earlier because I took a peek. Blade is a stubborn defender. So they've chosen the global stubborn. And my global stubborn attacker is Nick Fury. All right, he does awesome on global. But at first, I didn't realize that Blade had the defensive tag. I was like, wait, Blade? defensive really but he was he didn't give me any problem whatsoever Nick took him down but I remember looking at that and going wow I wonder how many people know that blade is actually hashtag defensive I didn't before this war all right next up we've got another defender that I don't really like fighting. Now, this guy, I always fight with Warlock. Warlock is a great counter for him. And once again, we're having to face a stubborn defender because he also has the defensive tag. This time, I can't bring in Nick Fury, who's a great counter for that stubborn. So I have to deal with it. It's a good placement. If you do not have a good option for... Um, Vision uh, Arcus here, he's going to wreck you. He is a really nasty defender. Look at that power that he's gaining there. All right. Um, very, very nasty. But I do like fighting him with Warlock. Look at the damage that I took. Didn't get hit. But just look at the damage. And at this point in time, I'm just like, wow, really? You know, I'm just like, okay, we should be able to get him down. But just look at the damage. You know, and I'm at this point going, we're we're just doing section one and my warlock is almost dead from that one fight. I still have to do section two. So I'm just like, OK, well, at least we didn't die. Um, at least we got the full attack bonuses there. But that's not a bad placement. And like I said, these guys are tough. They are bringing their A game. So uh, that, I didn't take that many there. So we kept going. Uh, they had some trouble on this cord, mix master. And so I was asked to come in and uh, finish off this cord. Now, historically, I have not done well, but I did do well, I believe the last time I fought cord. So, I got the gist of the fight. However, I have to fight my muscle memory. Normally how I fight Korg is different. And so I have to concentrate. You know, I have to clear everything away, do nothing else, no television on, nothing, and concentrate on fighting him uh, in a way that is kind of uncomfortable for me because it draws the fight out a little bit longer. All right, so you'll see I do a medium light attack 
and then I stop, okay? Um, I might fire a special or a heavy, but I'm not going to um, do like full combos against him. Uh, even when he has his shield shattered, normally I would do that. Normally when the shield shattered, that's the time I jump and get as much damage in as possible. Uh, but you can't do that with Mixmaster. And uh, he's also, of course, a stubborn defender. So, so far this war, I've fought nothing but stubborn defenders. Now I can't bring Nick Fury in here. I mean, I could, but he's not a good option for this fight. So I've got to deal with stubborn. And uh, as you can see there, just got to slow play it. That's what you have to do. And if you watch the last war uh, where I did this, now I got caught there and that threw my game off completely. Okay, see like, what, look at what happened. I, I hesitated. Um, after I got hit with that first one, I went and I tried to fire off the special, but I waited a little bit too long just enough that he was able to block. That was all me. Uh, once I got hit with that special one, and I'm like, of all things to get hit with, I can evade Korg's special one. So you see, I'm just sitting here, fuming. I'm like, I don't believe I got hit with his special one. Now, something that I usually do for myself, if I get hit with Korg's special one, whether it's in the um, arena or a quest, I won't finish him off until I evade his special one cleanly. Uh, now this is war, so I'm not going to intentionally do that. But since I was asked to clear this Korg, I just said, okay, you know what? Let's just revive uh, Omega Red because there's nobody else that I want to bring in uh, to this fight other than Omega Red. Um, and you can see most of my guys... Um, Nick Fury, I might have thought about doing, but honestly, Omega Red is one of the best, if not the best counter for Korg on Mixmaster. Um, I just messed up or else I could have taken uh, Korg down here. All right, so same strategy. Uh, don't evade, just take the blocked hits, uh, bait out his heavies. All right, he's got a special one here. I'm just doing medium uh light attacks okay see medium light and then i i kind of mixed up there all right medium uh, or light medium rather and there you go i evaded the special one mission accomplished all right and there we go medium light another special one medium that time i just backed off because i wasn't sure yep and then of course he evaded I should have done the light attack and that wouldn't have happened. All right, and then boom, got him down. So I was still a bit salty about that first loss to him. Uh, it is definitely an annoying fight, but one that is completely doable and Omega Red does beautifully. All right, and that was all the energy that I had. Normally I'll wait until I have full energy um, so that I can do all of my moves and record everything in one um, uh, piece of video. So I don't have to keep splicing multiple uh, parts, but they needed that Korg down and I had Omega Red. So I went in and did that. So we finally got to section two and we're facing Mephisto. And as you can see his tags, at least we don't have to deal with that. I believe that's the first non-stubborn defender uh, that we have faced this war. I think every other fight we've had, we've had to deal with that stubborn global. Um, I really dislike that stubborn global, by the way. Um, but Mephisto already can be annoying, especially if you don't have a counter to him. Uh, Incinerate Immune champions work beautifully. Uh, Void does this fight beautifully. Um, but just any incinerate immune, uh, havoc does this fight beautifully. So I don't have either one of those, uh, in here, but I do have Nick Fury. Now, Nick Fury is not incinerate immune, but he also does a lot of damage and Mephisto 
is not bleed immune. So Nick Fury can tear him up, all right? Just look at the bleed damage. So you want to avoid that aura. I remember when Mephisto first came to the contest, we didn't have counters really for him. And once he got that aura up, he was just insane. And a lot of people would quit war. He used to be the boss. Uh, my alliance put up uh, Mephisto as the boss. This is several alliances ago. And folks would just quit because he would get that aura up so often. He procced it so many times. So if you didn't have an, a, a proper counter, incinerate immune, and I don't believe there were uh, many, if any at all, uh, at that time, you were just going to get wrecked by him. Uh, and I remember some of the alliances just couldn't get past him. Uh, one alliance really tried, and they racked up double-digit deaths just on him. Almost felt sorry for them. All right, so now this fight is annoying. You notice that this has that um, bitten once, stung once, twice shy, something or other. I hate that because when I get a special with certain champions, I want to fire it off. Fortunately, because I'm running suicides, I don't really want to fire a lot of specials. With Nick Fury, I might fire a special too. Now you see that I got hit there. That woke me up. I'm just like, what? How did she, what happened? You know, um, but I was just slow, uh, tired. She caught me sleeping and uh, got me a good one. Now, the reason this fight it was surprisingly annoying is because of all of her glancing. So when I went and scouted my path out and I saw her, I'm like, oh yeah. As you can see, I know how to evade her special uh, one, no problem. Uh, but I did not anticipate the glancing. I want you to see just what that has done. Look at how much longer this fight is because of the glancing, because each of the glancing blows can't be crits. Look at how he's trying to get the bleed on her. I'm ending my combos with a light attack, and if it's glancing, she's not getting the bleed. So this fight was surprisingly uh, challenging, all right? Now, you see the real Nick Fury is now out. So now I'm like, okay, my buffer is gone, you know? And so I'm just trying to bait that out. Finally, she throws the special one, and she's only at like half health, and the real Nick Fury is out now. But now I'm doing some real big boy damage, and I just need to get some good bleeds on her. So you see there, no bleed. All right, there, we got a bleed on her. So that glancing, she's actually a pretty challenging defender. Not difficult necessarily, but the longer the fight goes, the more likely you are to make a mistake. And that fight went longer than I was thinking it would, but I didn't choke and was able to get her down. But yeah, she was surprisingly tough. All right, so the next fight is this Sentinel. Now, I want you to look at my guys. Don't really have a good option for this Sentinel, which is what I told them. Uh, Omega Red, no. Nick Fury, not really. And my Warlock is almost dead, okay? So now they've cleared uh, some of the minis and there's another Korg. And my Omega Red, is looking the worst for wear, but this Korg is almost dead. Uh, and that node is not as bad as the Mixmaster node. So I was asked, can, can, can you come in, uh, you know, clean up that Korg? I'm like, okay. Uh, even though Korg didn't have a lot of health, uh, I boosted up. Now, I did not heal uh, him up on this fight. Uh, because I was running out of resources there. I've been uh, using my glory. And so um, I did have uh, some health potions, but I used them up. And I'm slowly getting them back now. All right. But here's what I did since I didn't heal. I went ahead and used one of the invulnerability boosts just in case. Okay. So if I get clipped by that special one 
or anything happens, I at least have some buffer, all right? Um, and I'm hoping that I don't need it. So I'm fighting him like I notified him. At least now I can fight him, you know, full combos or, you know, with light attacks so that you don't get that damage back. Um, but thankfully with Omega Red, you don't have to worry about that because Omega Red, those tentacle hits do not get the damage back. So he is a great option for Korg just in general. And as you saw, we didn't have any problem finishing him off. Didn't need the invulnerability boost, but it's like insurance. If you have it and don't need it, great. But if you don't have it and need it, hmm. All right, so we'll be back and you guys will find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we lost this war as well. However, we got all of our bosses down. That is our goal, and I believe as long as we're doing that, we should end the season in Platinum uh, without too much difficulty. Uh, we are in Tier 2 because we won so many uh, of our wars, but we're still AQ-focused. That's where we want to spend our items and uh, our boost if we need to. But Alliance War, we still want to uh, finish in Platinum. Uh, and, I, and I joked around and said, if we're not going to even finish in Platinum, then we need to change our Alliance name. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. <laughs>